hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'm so excited for it this is the second or third video in this little like countdown until the day series i'm not really sure when i'm posting this it's either the second or third day but there's one day until the two year anniversary of the concert and i cannot believe that like i'm trying to process that it's not working <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to process it until like the day after and I'm like well shoot it's been two years you know if you guys don't know I'm doing like a little countdown posting a video every day for a few days until the two-year anniversary of the Benicio Bryant concert that I attended in 2020 and that I have spent every day missing and that I have still not gotten over at all 730 days later, right? 365 plus 365. That's 730, right? So, today's video we are going to be taking a look at my memory box. I have not done a dedicated video on this since literally two years ago. So I thought I would kind of like dedicate another video to showing it to you. And then I'm also going to be reading through the secret notes or secret notes, the little notes that I put in here and then writing three new ones. So this is my memory box. It's just this cute little like red box thing and like this is the opening it's like magnetic super simple super cute you can tell that there's some prized possessions in here you know i always joke around that like if my room was going on fire and i had to grab three things this would be one of them and i still believe that it would be so anyways let's quickly go through here so you open it up and this is what you see cute cute so the first thing we have in here is this photo that's me with the hand over my mouth gasping like always when i gave benny the flowers uh these are the earrings that i wore the day of the concert this is the shirt that i wore the day of the concert and it smells like the theater that i was in and it every time i smell it <laughs> Not that I smell it like on a daily basis and not that weird. Every time, it just brings me back to like a whole other world. I can't even explain. It literally just brings me back. But anyways, yeah, I'm not going to pull this out because I spent hours trying to fold this nicely. Funny story, actually. <laughs> I'll just tell this because why not? I don't think I've ever told it, but... This is my sister's shirt, and I was like, I need something blingy, I need something that's gonna make a statement, you know, like concert vibes. And she let me wear this. And after the concert, I had like PCD, like post-concert depression, and I was like, really not having it. I was very nostalgic over the whole thing, and I was like, there's no way in hell that I am washing this shirt. So, my sister at the time was very mad about that. She's like, Lexi, that's my shirt. I never said that you could just keep it, like I want it back. And I remember it was in here folded nicely, and she ripped it out, and she threw it in the washing machine. Now, luckily, her dumb self was not smart enough to start the wash, so I ran after her, I grabbed it out, and I hid this. And now, like, she doesn't care. She's literally would never wear it, so it was fine. But I was like, Noemi, if you would have started the washing machine, I would have simply killed you because it would have been washed. Like, the scent would have been gone. The whole, like, authenticness of it all would have been completely gone. But anyways, it's still here perfect with the smell of the theater. So that's that. Then we have this little jar of nails, which are the nails that I had for the concert, which is maybe creepy or disgusting to you guys, but I freaking love these nails. Mmm, that's a bit gross. Uh, I love these nails so much, so I have those in there. Then up here we have the little notes that we are going to be opening. I'll link my Benicio Bryant concert playlist and my other memory box video. But I wrote these little notes in that video two years ago. So if you want to see baby Lexi two years ago, though, who literally looks the same because I'm not wearing any makeup right now, uh, go watch that video. Then we have this Hello Kitty case, which actually was once signed by him, but it rubbed off. So that's just a image that me, my mom, and my uncle only have and a few of my family that I showed it didn't even last until I got home to show all my siblings it was like rubbing off by that time and I just I let it happen I don't really know why like I should have just put tape on it even if it was halfway rubbed off but you know it's something that like I'll always remember what it looked like and I'll remember that moment and you guys just won't ever get to see it you know <laughs> And then we have a $1 American bill, which was actually the change that I got back when I bought his merch, which I'm wearing right now. When I bought this shirt, this was a $1 bill that the girl working at the place gave me back. 
so this was in the theater at one point as well i wonder if that smells like it too why not oh, why not just uh just check mm, honestly it kind of <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Okay, let's see. You're done. You're done. So, all of that to say that we're going to read our letters now. I was 14 at the time. I'm now 16. Crazy to think about. Bizarre. I don't even want to think about it. Okay, what should we start with? Oh, the lid came off this one. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm so, my writing, guys, is going to be so ugly, too. I'm so nervous, so I tied it with this little, like, string. Okay, so this is the photo. Cutie. Freaking hottie. Like, wow. <laughs> Guys! Look! Ooh la la! Stop! I'm the exact same. I'm literally the exact same. Oh my gosh, yeah, my writing is disgusting. Thank God I, like, improved that. Okay. Ooh la la. He looks fine in this photo. Jeez, it makes me so smile so big. He is incredibly cute. It's kind of funny because when I see him in photos, I always think about how his photos are edited. And that he may not look like that cute in person, but holy crap, I was wrong. I saw him run out on that stage and my heart skipped a beat. That Gucci looked damn hot on him. No doubt he is the finest boy I've ever laid eyes on. February 2020. Okay, literally feel the exact same way. <laughs> like, nothing new, nothing's changed. Stop. But anyways, okay, that wasn't very, like, tea-filled, but it was cute. It was cute. Like I said, I have literally not looked back and read these, so I'm sorry if they're not that good, but this is a video. Let's move on to this one. Okay, I love these little jars. They're so like cute and fun. I remember writing this one because it was in my video Like this is the one that I wrote with you guys in that video two years ago. Yeah, this photo you guys like I can't This is I took this <sighs> Wow. This photo was taken during his performance of wave the way he plays his guitar absolutely mesmerizes me. Oh my goodness, he is just the sweetest, purest, most innocent little boy. Girl, what? Little boy. <laughs> Future you reading this. I hope you are dating him right now, and if you're not, that is depressing. No words can describe this day. It was a day I will treasure for the rest of my existence. I hope to God I will meet Benny again, because boy oh boy, incredible is an understatement. I hope next time I can not only meet Riley again, but I hope to get a few pictures with her. I f love you, Benicio. Guys, me swearing at 14 was like foreign, unheard of. I just remember writing that and being like, wow, wow, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> okay, obviously I'm not dating him. You're right, Lexi. That is very depressing. That is what it is. Okay, last one. Last little juicy note for this video is this one. I can tell that this is a photo I took of him um, while he played Because of You. Because I'm a crazy obsessed stalker like that. And I probably watched rewatched the videos like 432 times. Exactly. That's not an estimated or over-exaggerated number. I've counted. Just kidding. Okay. <sighs> yeah. This is his hot one of him like sitting down with Benicio Bryan in the back. Okay. January 25th, 2020. This photo was taken during his performance of Because of You. Look at me. My favorite part of the song was when he got the audience to repeat after him. He engaged with us so well. I started screaming and jumping. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, I just could not get over how fun it was. I am so thankful I got everything on camera. Check out my fan page at Benicio underscore Bryan underscore XOXO. Now that I've hugged him, I just need to kiss him. Oh wait, I already did on the cheek. And let me tell you, his skin is so smooth. That kiss was the best. Wow, just me subtly plugging my fan page, knowing that I would be filming this in the future. But that is still an active fan page. I still post on that 
frequently, not as frequently as I once did, but frequently enough. So you heard it, you heard it from 14 year old me, go check it out. I just, I can't imagine like what Lexi was thinking. Like 14 year old me. This was in February, mind you, before COVID, before any of this started. And I just, I can't, she was so innocent. Okay, I cannot do this. This is not working out for me today. Yeah, this is not gonna work, so we can toss that. But, okay, now for the updated ones, which this part is not gonna be very eventful because I'm just gonna sit here and put some music over it and montage me writing. But I printed out this, so I need to like cut these out. This, um, I could either just do one huge one or I could do like three strips or I could do nine, like cut them out individually. I do have this drawstring bag to put my updated ones in because... I don't have enough of those like jars. I still have two that I've been keeping in my craft drawer for two years now, but we need three. And I feel like every year I'll have like a different bag or like a different little compartment to put them in. So this year's a drawstring bag. I didn't do this last year. I didn't have this brilliant idea. Actually, shout out to Kyla who like helped me with this whole idea. But I plan to do it maybe every two years going forward from here. I think that'll be good. But anyways, now to a montage of me cutting these out, writing new ones, putting them in, and then I'll come back to you for the outro. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Close that. So the bag is hidden under the shirt there. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for following along with this little countdown and every year me getting so nostalgic and sentimental over the best day of my life. Like two years and it's still the best day of my life. So I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.